Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So guys, today we're doing something special. I'm doing a collab with Jerry from Cooking with Neighbors. Go over to her channel, guys. She's so great. She does the greatest meals and her food, it always looks like restaurant style. It's so, so delicious, guys. So listen, me and her are doing a collab today. We're doing like a kind of like a chopped thing where um, she's dropping off ingredients to me and I dropped ingredients off to her of our choosing and we have to make something out of it, okay? It's not a challenge, it's just like, you know, a chopped thing where we're gonna, it's a lot of fun to do and we have to make something out of what each other gave each other, all right? So I think right now I heard a little knock at the door, so I think my ingredients is here. I'm gonna go look, guys. Let me go see. So much fun. Right. Ooh, this is odd. I got a sweet potato. Ooh. I got a can of corn. Is it sweet? Is it cream or it's whole, whole kernel corn? And what's it? Balsamic vinegar, guys. Wow, what the heck am I gonna make with these three items? Woo! Let's see. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of things I can make with this. Um, there's no time limit, so I'm gonna think. Let me put this down here. Um, a way that I could incorporate sweet potato, corn, and balsamic vinegar. Um, maybe I'll make something like for breakfast. Maybe I will, I think that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shred this and make it and get a muffin pan and put it in, put the, um, the sweet potatoes in the muffin pans and then I'm gonna put, um, I might mix the sweet potato with the corn so I can incorporate the corn in there and then put a fry, put an egg in there, put it in the oven maybe and um, do a balsamic reduction and put that over it. Ooh, that sounds really yummy. All right, let's, let's get started, guys. All right, guys, so I'm gonna peel the sweet potato and then I'm gonna shred it. Okay, so let's get it peeled. I'm excited, I can't wait to see what Jerry's doing. Remember, guys, um, that we're doing this for fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun and I can't wait to see what well, she is doing with the ingredients I gave her. We'll have to go over to her channel. Remember, Cooking with Neighbors, Jerry Allen, guys. Go over to her channel and check her out. I'm so curious to see what she's going to do with the ingredients that I gave her. I'm not telling you. It's a surprise. You're going to have to go over and check it out. Check her out. Okay? All right, so let's get this peeled. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it, I'm going to shred it, and then um, I'm going to put it in the bottom of muffin pans. Maybe I'll do like three or four, probably like three. And then, um, but I'm just trying to think how I'm going to incorporate the corn. I'm trying to think how I'm going to incorporate the corn in there. I don't know if I should mix it up with the, with the sweet potato. Hmm. I'll come up with something. Up with something. Let's get this peeled. Get all the little brown spots off of it. This is a nice sweet potato you sent me, Jerry. Oh, 
awesome. All right. All right, we got this peeled. Let me wash it. All right, guys, I'm gonna shred it now. Okay, got my shredder here. This Gatsy thing was always moving. Let's put this here. Keep these, keep it still. I'm gonna chop my potato in half. Get shredded. Comment down below if you like sweet potato. I love sweet potatoes. Not only at the holidays with marshmallows and, you know, the hams that we make for the holidays, Thanksgiving, but I just love a, um, like a spice baked sweet potato or a mashed, um, mashed sweet potato. Ooh, I love it. Home fried, uh, fried um, sweet potato. Um, ow. Um, sweet potato fries. So good. I'm thinking maybe I'll make um, with the corn. I have a little, I have a little piece of ham steak in my refrigerator, and maybe I'll make like a um, a little hash with the corn and the ham together. Maybe I'll do that, guys, and put that on the side of it. I think that's what I might do. After I do this half, I'm going to see how much I got. Because if I got enough for two or three, that's all I need. Yummy. Note to self, watch you don't peel your fingers when you're doing this. enough guys yeah I think that's plenty so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make um, with the half of this that I have left I'm gonna make cut them into small little pieces and make like a little hash with ham corn and the potato and then put that alongside of the egg um, the egg the egg muffin thing Ooh, very excited guys very excited all right so what I got to do is get this in a bowl get a bowl I'll do this first Get this mixture going with some seasonings and stuff. This is so much fun, guys. I love this. All right, guys. So I got my ingredients and stuff to put in to the, um, the mixture, okay? I'm going to put this in this bowl here. Now, I'm going to put one egg in it to mix, you know, to combine it. This way, it'll stay together. Um, that's what I would assume would work. I hope, anyway. This is a, this is exciting. All right, one egg. Okay. One egg, I'm gonna put some pepper. Some salt. Putting some thyme, yes, guys, my fave. Oh, this is parsley. I'm putting some parsley, but I do have thyme over here. This is all the taste, guys. You do it how you want to do it. Um, this is like I said, fly by night recipe that you know I'm just figuring out since then with the ingredients that I have, and mm, I love the smell of thyme, but you only need a little bit. Oh, I forgot my I forgot my garlic powder and onion powder. How did I do that? That's odd. I'm gonna put a little bit of grated cheese in it. I think that'll add a nice kind of flavor to it. Let me get my garlic and onion powder, guys. My main ingredients is I forget, really. Okay, 
Okay, some onion powder and a little bit of garlic powder. And maybe a spoon would be nice. How about that? This little mix, probably end up mixing with my hand anyway. Get this combined all together. Mm. I think I'm going to do it in the George Foreman as long as my. Heat the house up if I can help it. Mm. Smell it. Smell the flavor. I'm gonna go get the muffin pan and see if I can fit it in the um the George Foreman. If I can, I'm gonna do it in the George Foreman. Size muffin pan, guys, a small one. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Um, can I put the toast? I can put the toast of uh, on, right? Yeah. We have to make, yeah, we have to make sure with the, what we put on with the, when the air's on, guys, because the air pulls a lot of energy. And if we use the microwave and the air at the same time, guess what's happening? Blowing a fuse. So, yeah. So I have this, so I'm probably just going to do as many as I can Thick. It's probably going to be three, I would, I would assume. Yeah, this is going to be good. This is going to, um, you know, and also if this like, if this doesn't, if I don't see this kind of sticking, but I think it's going to, you could put a little breadcrumbs in it too, but I don't want to really change the taste of it or anything like that, so I'm not going to do that for at this moment, unless I see that it's not working. I'm going to go get the, um, the spray because I have to spray. You definitely have to spray these these um, cups so this way they don't stick, guys, okay? All right, guys, so I got the spray. I'm using olive oil, olive oil spray just for more flavor. You could use vegetable oil, you could use canola, whatever you want to use, guys. You can even do a little butter. Mm, that would be good. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to um, do two for now, and then I'll do the other, the other one in a minute. So I'm gonna to try to separate it so I have, um, so I get enough at least for, I definitely think I can get three out of here. We'll see. We'll see. All right, so make it like a, almost like a ball. Oh, my hand hurts today. Make it like a ball and flatten it out like a, and flatten it out like a pancake, and then just press it in. You got, oh, you guys can't even see me. That's a, and press it in with your fingers, guys, see? Yeah, see, that works. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm heating up the oven. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat these up for about 10 minutes in the oven and let them get kind of like crispy or a little, you know, at least cooked. Just like, make it like a, just mold it, see? You mold it into like a little cup. Oh my God, these are gonna be so good. <laughs> you mold it into a cup. And you know what guys, they're gonna be all for me because I'm the only one that really likes yams. My, my daughter Julie likes them, but she likes them with the marshmallows and everything. I love you, I love sweet potato anyway, so I'll be eating these things all to, all to myself, but that's fine. Yeah, that's, that works really, really well. Oh, God, I'm so happy about this, how this is working. That's why it's so important to spray your pan really well because otherwise they'll stick and then they'll just be one big mess. You don't want that. And yeah, guys, I think I can get three. Yep. I think I can do three. Shape it. 
make sure that this one, yeah. Flatten it out. Just press it. Better off even just putting it in, just putting it in the, the cup and then molding it to how you want it because um, it's a little bit touchy because it's, you know, it doesn't have a lot of um, binding stuff in it except that egg. So, but that's fine. Because you could just mold it into here, the oven. And just make sure that you have all, like there's, there's, there's sweet potato on in every area. So there's no like holes in it. So it'll come out like more like a cup, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see how that's gonna work. All right, guys, so I got the last one here. I'm gonna put it, smush it into there. Like I said, there's no sense in making it into a ball because it's just gonna, this is a little, a little bit of a chunk. Ooh, can't do anything with that. Push this in here. Now, like I said, make sure there's no holes in the little cup. I think that I'm gonna put a little bit here because this one is kind of extra here. So just mold it with your fingers as best as you can into a cup. And my oven's, um, my, the toaster oven is heating up. So I'm gonna put this, yeah, there's no holes in this. I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 10 minutes at 400 and let this bake up a little bit before I do anything else. And in the meantime, while this is baking up and all that, we're waiting for that, I'm gonna cut up the, um, the other part of the sweet potato and get, a fr get the frying pan and get all those, and get and the ham, cut that up and make that little hash, guys. This is gonna be so, so good. All right, so let me put this in the oven. Yummy. Just molding it, making sure it's all doesn't have any holes or anything. Look, guys, see? No, no. Right. Alexa, set the timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Done All right, guys, so I'm going to cut the potato up now, and then I'm going to cut the ham up. And I'm going to cut these in fairly small pieces because I want them to cook quick, and I want it to be like a little hash. So I don't want them in big, big, big pieces. So I'm gonna slice it like this. Now guys, remember it's most important to have a very sharp knife when you're cutting up stuff because otherwise you'll, you'll cut yourself. I'm gonna cut them, put them together like this, you guys can see, and then like this, and then slice them like this. This way they're nice and small and sweet. So excited. I wonder if I should put a little onion in with this guy, a little garlic. I might do that. Let's get this up. So out of one potato, guys, I'm getting like two meal, like two so you know, two um, little meals out of it. Awesome. That was a nice sized potato. Good job, Jared. Give me a nice sized sweet potato <laughs> to do a lot with. Oh. 
on. I'm excited for this hash. I'm excited for that. It's gonna be so good. Okay, guys, so I'm taking a half of onion. I'm gonna cut up the onion into small pieces, just like the sweet potato. I want everything to basically be around the same size. Okay. He's over here. Guys, you can use a chopper if you have a chopper. I have a chopper, but sometimes I just, depends on my mood, if I'm gonna use a chopper or if I'm gonna use a knife. And today, I just wanna use my knife. some fresh garlic too out of the fridge in a minute. I'm gonna put a little bit of a couple of cloves of garlic in here. It's gonna be such a delicious hash guys. Now you know this is I'm doing sweet potatoes but like we can even do this with incorporate regular potatoes too in this and make a hash like this but of course this is this is a special episode so I'm using what I have and adding a few things to it. Guys you can make anything out of anything. You really can. Let me get the garlic. I smell the sweet potato baking, guys. I smell it. Okay. Get a couple, two garlic cloves. Cut these up. Again, small pieces. Alexa, how much longer on the timer? You have one minute and 40 seconds left on your 10 minute timer. Wow, it's a quick 10 minutes. 15 minutes. This stuff is small. I don't want huge pieces of garlic. I just want, is that garlic here? Yeah, that's a piece of it. I just want, you know, kind of minced, but yet not. Totally minced. That's why I'm using fresh garlic and not the minced garlic, because I just feel like I want fresh garlic. Alright guys. Looks good. Looks good. I love to do these things to see the end product of the stuff. Alright guys, so now I'm gonna cut the ham up in little pieces just like that. Cut off most of the fat, although the fat, Alexa, stop. The fat is what really gives it the flavor. Cut it in small pieces. Ruby, no. Cooper was outside, now he's inside. So I want to give them a little break. It's not humid today, it's nice out here today in New York here, it's been upstate New York, but um, it's still hot, you know. check the cuffs because I don't want them to get like overcooked. Let me get a, a thing. So here they are guys. They still look like they definitely have to cook a little bit more to get a little bit. I want them to get a little bit more crispy. So I'm going to leave, put them in for about another five minutes. I'm going to higher the flame just a little bit just so they get a little crispy. What are you doing? Go play. Go play. So I'm just going to finish cutting up this ham. Get it nice and a couple pieces of like that here. Right. I might as well use the rest of this because otherwise it's probably going to go in the 
like I said, in the refrigerator, it'll get lost in there, and I'll end up throwing it out, so it has more of a chance to get eaten if it's in this form. Sorry, guys, this is all real life, you know that, the dog is barking, and things are happening. But we're still getting stuff done. No, I just brought them in. They need a break from outside. So I'm going to cut the rest of this ham up. And then, by that time, I'm going to get these in the, in the pan. Start to saute. This is going to take long to saute at all, guys. Not at all. Okay, I'll bring you over there and let you see. All right, guys, my pan is heating up. I'm going to put a little piece of butter in it. I have a little piece here, and I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in it just to mix up with it. This one's new. Open this up. A little bit of olive oil, not much, like a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm going to let those cook another couple of minutes, and then I'm going to take them out because they're going to cook longer when I put the egg in them. Woo! Darn it. Onions and the potatoes and the garlic in first. And the heat's pretty high because I want them to, like I said, I want them to cook quickly. And I want them to kind of, you know, fry up. the ham in. I'm going to let this saute about five minutes and I'm going to season it and let the and then put the ham in. And I'm going to go get those sweet potatoes out and put them on the counter over here because I don't want them to um, overcook. All right guys so this is sauteing. So we get out of there. This is sauteing and here's the muffins. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them I put them on this um, this toaster oven tray because I don't want them to um, get down. I don't want them to when I when I put the egg in. I don't want them to um, you know like overflow all over the toaster oven and everything else. So yeah, so they're ready. Okay, I'm gonna put the the ham in in one second. So yummy. Then I'm gonna then I'm gonna um, season it, guys. Put a little bit more olive oil in it. Just a little bit. Coopy, what are you doing? Like he's gonna answer me, right, guys? Onion powder. Because remember, everything has to be flavored. Get down, get down, get down. Circle. Hi, buddy. Put a little bit of parsley. So a little bit of garlic powder because there's garlic in it, fresh garlic. I don't want to go crazy. Pepper. And I'm going to get my butter out because I want a little bit more butter in here. 
All right, guys, I have whipped butter, so I'm going to put a little bit of whipped butter in here. Just a little bit, about a tablespoon. And let's get that ice. Just make a mess. Now, these, this is going to be done as soon as the sweet potatoes are tender. The sweet potatoes is the only thing that I'm really worried about that, you know, not worried about, but um, that has to cook the most. The onions will take quickly, and the garlic, obviously, and the ham. It's cooked already. It just has to heat up. Oh, guess what I forgot, guys? One of the main ingredients. I knew it looked weird. Corn. Corn came with my, came with my package. Not good. I'm going to drain it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to drain it good and then put it in with, um, with the half. It's gonna be so good, guys. Let's drain it. I'm over here draining it. Get all the liquid out of it. I want it to really like roast. I don't want it to, to like, you know, um, steam. this over a little bit because I want to get the corn like roasted. I'm going to put a little bit more butter on this side. Okay guys. Like that. Cooked on a high heat so the corn gets a little bit roasted. And I'll season it. Guys, it's gonna be so good. So excited. Corn. Salad. Guys, what I love on my um, corn grated cheese. A little onion with the pepper. Oh, pepper! Pepper. I'm gonna put a little parsley, guys. I still have the um, the toaster oven on, heating up still. So this way, um, it's ready for the um, the eggs. And some grated cheese. So yummy. I'm gonna let this sit a minute before I move it. This I'm gonna move a little bit because these are, these can be moved, but mainly the cook, the, cook, the corn is on the flame mostly. I'm gonna move it in a minute. I just want it to get nice and kind of charred a little bit. That's the best kind of corn, guys, when it's, ooh, it's roasted so good. All right, guys, so while I'm waiting for that to cook up, I'm going to put the egg into the cups, okay? One egg on top. So yummy. See that, guys? Now, I happen to like an over easy egg. So I like the yolk a little bit runny. So it says, um, I think 10 minutes for a little bit runny. So I'm gonna salt them because you have to put flavor on them, guys. Pepper. And I'm even gonna put a little bit of grated cheese on top of them. And guys, uh, guess what else I wanna do? I'm going to put the little paprika, the little paprika. 
All right, guys, I'm going to go put it in the oven. Got to be very careful with this. Thank God for the tray underneath it because they're, they're oozing out a little bit, which I knew they would do. Alexa, set the timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, 31. So excited, guys. All right, this is starting to pop now, so it definitely needs to be moved around. Oh, perfect. See, you guys, now I can incorporate it. Oh, my God, the corn got so nice and toasty and yummy. Oh, my God, this is going to be so freaking good. Now, this is from three ingredients Jerry sent me. A sweet potato, a can of corn, and balsamic vinegar, which... I have to get started on the balsamic vinegar reducement production. I just reminded myself. What it is, is it's, um, let me just check one thing, guys. Because, yes, I've only made reduction one at one other time in my life, so I have to look it up. That looks so yummy, guys. All right, so all it is is a half a cup of balsamic and three tablespoons lightly packed brown sugar. Now, they said you can double it if you want, and then just you can have extra. Because you don't need a lot of this. I think I'm just going to make some. I'm going to do it how the rest is. You don't need, um, it's very, you know, it's very strong. It's very potent, but it's so, so delicious. I'm going to lower this flame a little bit in a minute. A half a cup of balsamic. Guys, comment down below if you like balsamic. Oh, it's just a game changer. It really is a game changer. All right, here we go. Balsamic and then three tablespoons of brown sugar. You know what? If I don't have my... Let me get it over here. Okay, I'm going to put the light on in a minute. Three tablespoons. So, one, two, and three. I'm going to put a little extra because I didn't really pack it. Okay. So, I'm going to lower this now because this is getting nice and nice and crispy, guys. Oh, my God. Woo! So good. Oh, my God. This is going to be so good. So, so good. Let's bring you over here. This I'm lowering to the lowest part. And this it says, like, come to a boil. So this is going to be like a sweet, savory thing, guys. I hope it all goes good together with the egg and everything. I'm hoping. We'll see. All right, so this has to come to a boil. This is, God, guys. So yummy. I'm going to taste one of the sweet potatoes and see if it's done. Ow, that's my finger. Is that, it? Is that a sweet potato? I want to make sure because, yeah. Mmm. Oh my God, guys. Guys, so good. The hash is so good. You need to drop a salt. I'm telling you, with the balsamic over this, it's gonna be amazing. 
it's gonna, oh, it's starting to already boil. So what does it say? Let me see, guys. Let me make sure. Um, so I'm gonna stir until sugar dissolves and mixture comes to a boil. Um, simmer until it becomes half. Right, it's coming to a boil. I'm gonna let it simmer. Um, you know what this thing needs, guys? This needs some paprika, and I also think it needs some hot pepper. I feel like I want it a little spicy. So I'm gonna put paprika, and should I put, I don't know if I wanna put cayenne. I think cayenne's going in a little overboard. Right, where's my hot pepper? Here, crushed red pepper. I'm gonna put a little crushed red pepper in this, guys. I thought you guys were over here, but you're not. Sorry, Charlie. I'm putting in a little bit of crushed red pepper, guys. Is it coming out? Yeah. Not very fast. Although I don't want it coming too fast. But. That's enough. That's gonna be good, guys. It needs, it needs a kick or something. I mean, it's delicious, but I feel like it needs a little kick. All right, this is gonna simmer. And I'm gonna go check. I have to go check the eggs. All right, guys, I'm gonna taste it again with the with the hot pepper and see if it's any different. Mmm, mmm. I'm gonna go. That did it. I'm gonna shut it off totally now because I don't want it to overcook and, and char. I'll put it on the last couple of minutes. This is reducing. See it? Mm. I wish you guys could smell this. I wish it smells so good. All right, guys, this is done. It looks a little watery, which they said it would, but when I put the spoon into it, Look, look, it's a glaze, guys. It's gonna sit a minute or two. I'm gonna go get the eggs out. I think that the eggs are done the way I like them. Everything is ready. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna, everything is done. I hope the eggs aren't overcooked. I might've cooked them a little bit too warm, but we'll see what happens. I'm hoping that when I open up, when I crack the egg, the, the, the yellow will come out. The yolk will come out. So what I'm how I'm gonna plate this, I'm gonna put hash on the bottom of the plate. Remember this is the ham, corn, sweet potato, onion, and fresh garlic hash. Woo! I'm gonna make like a little mound. Okay, like this. I see. Now I'm gonna bring you over. I'm gonna try to get the egg out without breaking it. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, this is a work in progress now. You know that. So whatever happens is gonna happen right here on the video. Okay, I'm I'm Scraping along the thing, the, the um, muffin thing with, with um, a knife just to get it loosened. And I'm praying. Ooh, it looks like it might come out, guys. Ready for <gasps> Guys, look. Oh, my God. That looks amazing, oh my God. Look at that. Holy moly, I'm so excited to crack it open. Let me get the balsamic, guys. Let me get the balsamic in the spoon. Oh wow, this has become so thick. Look at that, guys, it's like a syrup. So, so yummy. 
put some balsamic glaze over this. Oh, my Lord in heaven. I'm going to get a picture of it before I even cut into it because this is so amazing. And I'm putting it, you notice, on the hash too. Now, if you don't want to, if you don't like balsamic, you know, well, this way, just put a little bit. Don't put a lot. It's up to you how much you enjoy it. I love it. So this is it, guys. Oh, my God. That is amazing looking. I'm going to put some parsley on it. Is this parsley? Yeah. Parsley. And I'm going to look at my camera so I can take a picture before I eat it. Wow, this was so, so much fun. So much fun, guys. All right, guys, you ready? Are you ready? Let's see if it, if it cracks, if the yolk cracks open. I hate to, I hate to ruin this. I hate to mess with it because it's so pretty. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see. Ah, uh, all right, that's okay. It's it's soft, it's soft. It's not runny, but it's soft. But I, I, I like it like that as well. See, I would have liked it to be a little bit more runny. I should have took it out a minute before. What are you gonna do? Not a big deal, I know, for next time, but look at that. It's still, actually, it is kind of runny. Look at it, you see that? It is kind of runny. So good, guys. Let me taste. Now, this is the whole thing. Let's taste it and see if all these um, combinations go together. Oh, yeah, it's still wet. See? Look at that. Look at the wet. See? There you go, guys. Let's see. I'm excited. Okay. I'm going to be completely honest. This is so good. Oh my God, it's so good. The egg, like even being a little bit dry, you know, the yolk. Definitely, I would want the yolk to be much like runny. That's just me, but... If you like an egg like this, guys, oh my God, the flavors together with the balsamic and the sweet potato, and the crush of the sweet potato. Mm. Oh my God, guys. This is so good. Jerry, this came out so good. I'm so excited. I love the ingredients you gave me. Oh my God. Oh my God. Putting the egg with it, with it, was a really good combination. Like I said, you could even just put a you can just, um, I would like my egg runnier. You could even just put an, a, um, an over easy egg on top of the hash. You don't even have to make the, the sweet potato thing if you didn't want to. You know what I mean? This hash is delicious. Mmm. Mm. Guys, so good. I know you think I'm crazy, but... This excites me. I get crazy over this. I love it. It's so delicious. Jerry, thank you so much for doing this doing this with me. I love doing these collabs with you. We're gonna do one um we do one one a month, definitely, and maybe a couple of other ones we, we throw in during the month. So some months it might be two or three, one but it's at least one once a month. We we do these collabs together. I love her. She's become such a good friend to me on YouTube. I'm so glad I did this. I'm so glad I met her. Um, just really, really happy, guys, okay? This was so much fun. Thanks, Jerry. 
so much doing this with you again, again, again. I keep saying it. I gotta go because I gotta eat this. Like, I'm gonna eat this. I'm not gonna put another egg on top of it and eat it. It's so good. I didn't have breakfast, so this is my breakfast and my lunch, guys. So, so good. I'm so, so happy. I have to stop, really. I have to stop. All right, guys. So, listen. Don't forget to go to Cooking with Neighbors, Jerry Ellen, and check out her channel. She's got great stuff. She does like restaurant looking food, really, really yummy good, and she's a sweet, sweet person. Please go check her out. I really would appreciate it, all right, guys? If you like this content and like this video, please hit that thumbs up button on the bottom. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button with the bell so you have to be notified every time I put an, I, I upload a video. All right, guys, this was so much fun. Thanks, Sherry, for doing this collab with me. So, so fun. Look forward to more collabs, guys. I'm going to be doing a collab with with um, the Hod Jesse from the HodgePodge Life of, of Jesse again. We're not sure exactly what we're going to do yet and when, but, you know, um, look out for that one. But like I said, guys, this was so much fun. And this, I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. So good. Three ingredients, guys. I added the egg. I'm gonna stop talking now because we're gonna go eat. Love you guys. See you on the, See you on the next video.